Yeah, I don't know. Hammer smash? What is... What are... It's a what? demon with some hella arms. Multiple. And now he's dead. And now gone. So, you... Well done. Uh, the Abla's vile minions can no longer use this rift to find their way into the Silver City. Now only one rift remains. <laughs> Ariel just interjects. That's not the only hell rift. The flow of my legions will not stop. This felt longer when I did it the first time. We are just blazing through this. But then again, Boner Party is pretty dang strong. Whoa. Whoa. Nekarat? <laughs> He's already almost dead. The Key Warden of Fright? The Key Warden of Dying. Something. One of us has an attack that does like a boatload to these guys. And I don't know what it is. Because he lost like half of his health before. And I, I can't Give tell you if that's time. me or. Grenades! You? Oh, right. Weren't you gonna switch those? Yeah. Possibly. Because the issue you were having with them in the bounties My was what? Is too Some. Low. The, it would actually pass over yeah, or well, into... It, there are certain areas where the enemy is over a pit okay. and my grenades are just passing straight through them and that was kind of an inconvenience. So I, would, I wouldn't mind having normal bolts and shots again. The grenades are fun. Because that's what they look like. Okay. The other thing Did is, most enemies out? don't cluster up that much. There's nothing here. Check the map. Okay. Yep, you're right. It's just a dead end. Look at all these demons I've got with me. <laughs> I I do, actually. Man, how rad would that be? I, I guess that's kind of standard monster collection game. But I was thinking about this earlier. and Like, how cool would it have been if, uh, if I had, like, a monster index for all of the monsters that I'd re resurrected? Mm -hmm. And instead of, instead of having ten monsters that I've resurrected that are just following me around... I can actually pick and choose based on, like, what their abilities were in life. Your death nears. Yeah, well, realistically, I wish more games included bestiaries. Yeah, because I know they have that in Path of Exile, but it's more of a, like, just and a collection Metroid thing. You have, like, a, a menagerie. Um, and, like, I don't know. I think it would be kind of cool if you had, like, really, really in-depth monster collection in one of these games. Oh, you're talking about monster collection. I, I was just talking about even just a compendium of enemies. Well, there's a compendium of enemies in this game. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. We've just never bothered to look. And I like it when they include the concept art for them, too. Yeah. Because that's always oh, fun. Oh, it's everybody's oh, favorite. Lasers. lasers. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. I'm dead. Okay. I will flee. More or less, they, they froze me. Oh, I'm here. They froze me in the middle of... Uh, in the middle of laser party, and I was uh, not cool with that. I must wait. Not enough essence. I'm gonna just be a, up. Oh, the laser! Stairs. Laser! Oh, laser killed me. It spawned right yeah, next to you me. Yeah, you got you got jailed too. That is a that is a nuisance of a combo. All right, he's dead anyway. Thank you, undead minions that don't care about lasers. Okay, things seem to be crumbling around That's it. us. To be fair, you're really overleveled and really below recommended difficulty. Now, Angel. Torment isn't recommended difficulty for this? What kind of wacky difficulty curve does this game have? That's why I was wondering why there were so many difficulties. In most I, games, I feel like there's it should almost kind four. of naturally progress you through difficulty levels based on how well you're doing in the campaign Wait, mode. Wait, so you're saying that Diablo relies on you manually upping the difficulty? Yeah. I've been upping the difficulty slowly over the course of this entire series. Mm -hmm. uh, we're the frog in water, that except for the, f the frog is is boiling the water himself, and the water ain't okay with it. Okay, I thought there was more in that direction, but we didn't investigate. There is, but like the thing is, there's these levels are procedurally generated, so you can go. Oh yeah. There's right. always more in every direction, but there's not always. Anything. You. you know, there's not always something worth it in that direction, if that makes Vengeance. sense. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to find the next hell That's just a painting in the background. Yeah. Like a big map painting. This and it's a really pretty painting. Die. Uh, 
Oh, it's everybody's favorite. Lasers again. Mm hmm Oop. Yeah. Wow. And poison pits. Well, more like poison axes. I think we killed the dude. Yeah, dude's dead. Okay, good. Dude, there's a set of a scythe My and shield that makes the low. boners way too powerful. <laughs> multiplying their starting damage by thousands. Whoa. Hey. I will admit I'm a little bit disappointed that they put all the cool stuff behind, like, super endgame content. Well, they want you to be able to play the game again and again and again. I guess. I just, like, somebody pointed this out uh, the other day. I was ranting about game design. That, like, sometimes Razor I don't claw. feel like I'm catered too well. Ah! That we always have all of these games that are either meant for really hardcore people or really casual people, but there are very few games that I would say are truly just directed at mid-range players. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a couple. There's, like, Spider-Man, which I found particularly enjoyable and didn't find to be... Ugh. The boner party got scraggly. Look at him. What? Which one? Oh, oh, you mean the ones that are dragging themselves? Yeah, my little, themselves? like, crawly dudes. Oh. They're not comfortable. Uh. I mean, I admit, this is maybe a little easy, but... She said a little too easy, then. Shoot. I can't change the difficulty level here. Oh, okay. Uh, how about after the next Hellmouth, we'll bump it up by like I one or two. Closer to victory, Nephilim. You are too late, just as you always have been. You know, I'm a little disappointed in Diablo's characterization in this game, because he's just like, "You're too late. I'm evil. Ha I ha ha!" And winning, world. and it's like, I I think well, I was I hoping. Wonder for... what the motivations are for demons and I think such. I was hoping for a little bit more depth from him. Yeah. Like, Cause... he clearly manipulated and had a child with Adria and is currently inhabiting said I... child's body. There's a lot of games that I think kind of fall My into this trap where the, uh, where the villain did all the cool and dastardly stuff off camera. And then when you actually meet them, it's They're just kind of cartoonish. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's like, so... Are you, are you, just claiming credit for somebody else? Because I'm calling Shanae. I a lot of it just has to do with writing. Like it's really difficult to. A to book. Write. What, whose book is this? The Angiris Council is comprised of the five archangels who hold dominion over the high heavens. They determine the laws by which all angels must abide. Each of them embodies a pure aspect of creation, valor. Justice, hope, fate, and wisdom. Oh, okay, so we've actually met some of these archangels then. Yeah. If you destroy the Oculus, my hell rift will consume. The hell rifts are closed. You have far <laughs> exceeded my expectations, Nephilim. But there is not a moment to waste. Quickly, you must make your way to the Silver Spire. It's funny how hollow the hell rifts are closed, but it is of no matter. Soon there will be nothing left of these high heavens. All creation will be the realm of terror. That's what they all say, the villains. Yeah. It's like, you've thwarted me this time, but that won't stop my master plan. It's already come to fruition. You're too late, heroes. It's Ooh. just weirdly cartoony. <laughs> Well, it's because the hero has to slowly succeed and make their way to the villain. I liked villain. it better when Diablo said nothing to you, honestly. Tyrael. Yes, my friend. I am ready to again fight by your side. I was wrong to give in to despair. You have shown me there is still a chance for victory. But we must hurry. Even now, Diablo makes his way to the Silver Spire. I finally understand. Your kind faces death and darkness every day, yet still you find the courage to move forward. It is an honor to be one of you. Raw, raw humans are cool. Well, it's because... Uh, it's one of those things where... Oh, oh. 
us up. Oh no. Now we could help, but that's not boner partyific. Oh no, look. It's you, him. your kind does not belong here. If I see you again, you will die. What a good guy. What was his name again? Imperious. Imperious, right. Pay him no mind. This is your fight, Nephilim. Your power is even greater than Tyrion foresaw. One can only hope. But now, we must stop Diablo before he reaches the crystal arch above us. I didn't hear the L when Tyrion said Diablo, so I heard Diablo. I'm like, mm -hmm. huh. I like the idea of Tyrion having like a weirdly endearing I nickname. I knew you would come. That a champion from the mortal world would light our darkest hour. Your courage and nobility shine out across this realm, blinding our enemies. I think that's it. I think that's all of her dialogue. My thanks, Ariel. I will see to I it. I remember angels striding through these halls in all their majesty. We thought ourselves the masters of all creation. Our arrogance was our downfall. Don't move. Can Diablo still be defeated? Only in the light that lies within you, Nephilim. I will take heart from it and hope for your victory. The future is ever writing itself. Unknowable, just beyond sight and touch. Only once in the history of Sanctuary has a Nephilim been as powerful as you. His name was Odysseus. The man who sacrificed himself to save the world? I thought that was a fable for children. He was no myth. Because of his noble sacrifice, I saw the inherent potential in your kind. As such, I voted with Orion to spare mankind from annihilation. And yet you both did nothing to help us all these years. I mean no disrespect, I know of your duties here. But my people are trapped in the eternal conflict as well. We have suffered endlessly, we still do. I have seen enough to know that you speak the truth. Perhaps one day, humanity will find peace. So you can see the future. I see the myriad streams of possibility all intertwining and weaving into one another. I can hear them echoing forward into eternity. And yet you do nothing with your great knowledge. I am not called to be a champion as you are. My role is simply to observe. Does the Scroll of Fate say how this battle will end? Doom and darkness. These heavens ruined. The angelic host broken. Diablo victorious. Do you believe that? As I have said, Nephilim, your destiny is unwritten. You alone may change these dark times. Oh, are they really doing the whole, Since you know, you I can't no see destiny. your fate. You, yeah, you're the wild card in this. Yeah, that's a common Diablo is readying his final blow against the high heavens. A devastating act that will disrupt the balance beyond all remedy. Tyrael and I must find a way to save both of our realms. Look at the destruction Diablo has wrought. If we do not stop him, this is the future of all creation. There's a common trope, you know, the like, you have no, no destiny, therefore you can do whatever the heck you want and screw with it. Oh, hey, it's Leah. Oh, or the essence of Leah, or what's left of her? How does it feel? Oh. Knowing you helped me become the prime evil. For all your mighty deeds, all you really accomplished was unleashing me upon the world. Some savior you are, Nephilim. Oh, they're trying to psych us out. Sorry, oh. Diablo, you're not gonna psych us out. Get out of here, Diablo. We got other things to do. 
Yeah. Diablo is climbing the spire to the Crystal Arch. We must hurry. I lived only to serve my master Belial. But you killed him and unleashed the prime evil on the world. Oh, you're making us feel bad. Yeah, Diablo's, like, tactic here is to guilt trip us. Guilt trip us with prior minions that we've slain? That's hilarious. Sorry, you gave yourself to... Here's, pe here's to a bunch of people humanity. you probably didn't like anyway. Shame on you for killing us all. Hmm. Well, maybe that's to especially rub it in, that the people you so Every despised weren't the ones that brought Diablo back. It was you. It was you. Diablo. 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 No, no, no. I like this. I, I, I think Diablo? leading up to the fight against uh, De Bibble, <laughs> his name should just like, every time you say Diablo, it has to be a new pronunciation. New rule? Go. Uh, I I want to see just how 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 far the, uh, the dribble hole goes. <laughs> Come on. You, you've said before that you're, you you have uh, issues with uh, with jokes. This is like the easiest joke to to dive into. How about I call him diabolical? Well, you can, but now you can't call him uh, diabolical anymore. <laughs> I have long waited for this knowledge. The other th interesting trope too is the whole. Oh, uh, in the face of immortality, immortals grow, I don't know, kind of cold or apathetic yeah. to suffering and pain and whatever. And, but oh, but because humans have to fight for survival and We're actually motivated. endure atrocities, yeah, they you I mean, have the I will kinda, to live, the I will to I kind of like change. that trope a little bit that, like, if you're mortal, you'd be real lazy. Because, mm -hmm. like, if you have all the time in the world, what's the rush? Like, 90% uh -huh. of the reason why I'm so, like, aggressive about my YouTube channel to some degree is because uh, I know there's kind of a limited half-life before uh, my channel, like, drops or, you, you know... get too old. Yeah, I grow Yeah, or a recession. I wish I could do or, that. Or, uh, you know, the next the next uh, adpocalypse or whatever. And it's kind of one of those gotta, you know, gotta make my channel as big as possible in as short of a uh, period of time as possible. Because otherwise, if I don't, you know, I'm never either, either I'm never going to make it or, uh, you know, it's going to get taken from me. But if I was like, if I lived, if I knew I was going to live eternally and didn't have to worry about food or, you know, day to day stuff. Oh, yeah, because we don't even know how they survive or if they need any sustenance. Like any joy I might have had is replaced with sorrow. Upwards, we must make it to the summit. I see every once in a while there's a big meteor that comes down. Yeah. Uh, you were saying, sorry? Before, before Tyriel decided to say his whatever? No, 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 I think we were just, yeah, we were just, oh, well, I, what I was saying is they, they don't really explain what the angels do aside yeah, from I'm fight the demons. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but they don't even fight the demons for the most part because the demons have just been attacking Earth repeatedly. Well, yeah, and the thing is, humans are most susceptible to demons because of, you know, their, I don't want to say, like, well, sinful nature. We're corruptible. But, yeah. And it, it just seems like the, the angels didn't really have a presence, whereas demons want, yeah. they just do. Uh, it it feels like the angels were just waiting for for hell to you know do the the holy war thing again, and they're like, well, it's okay. The demons are just mucking around with the humans. That's fine. That has nothing to do with us. And you know, it's kind of like the rules lawyer. But the humans are going to be the ones to bring the demons to to heaven, if you know what I mean. Of of course, demons are going to try to corrupt humans to enable them to achieve this. Hmm? But like, and it, they it feels like it feels like the angels are just like, oh well, you know, we don't like humanity anyway. I never they're... liked the whole we can't meddle in things. This yeah, is... I've never really understood that. It's, it's like it's like they want to absolve themselves of responsibility. Hey, absolutely, you know, it's it's too complicated to actually help you. So I'm just going to take the holier than thou neutrality approach. I think I really don't like that approach. We had that argument in D and D a long time ago. Uh, we were doing a D&D campaign with my brother and his friends and Bird. I think it was, I think that's it. Oh, oh, boss fight. Or cutscene. Oh, 
Oh no! It seems we've both fallen from grace, Kitty. <laughs> Come, embrace your former lieutenant. Wait, that guy was an angel? No, but dudes. Yeah. Izul. Wait, Izul was a boss in Diablo 2. I thought he was a dude that, like, regretted his position. I guess not. Oh well. Uh, but we were playing TNT with my brother and his his friend, and the friend. The friend had a a pacifist character. Yeah, his character was a pacifist. But we didn't know the whole time because he never told anybody. Well, and, he also never directly fought anyone because he was a cleric. Yeah, he was a cleric. He was a bad cleric too. Barely even healed. And generally didn't even use spells. Like he was making siege weaponry. The old which was thing, the old, Well, that was because the the great thing about that was what you were able to find a way to slay the fearsome warlord by having a catapult. You know, to man a catapult, aim it. Yeah, we at catapult the army. Crushed. The, uh, the main villain of my brother had to, uh... And the funny thing was, the person who was supposed to command that catapult, some gnome of some sort, had... And see the ruin of heaven. Like, he had actually been the one to pull the trigger and thought that the calculations were correct. Yeah, so the, the, so the guy pacifist was convinced... cleric convinced somebody to kill somebody else and was like, you know, I didn't do the killing. It's like, the, what? What are you doing? So the gnome was like, I know I killed my own master. And yeah, stuff. I think there was some amount of like roleplay guilt there, but like he yeah. should have known what he was doing. Uh, well, but that's the thing. He, he was so convinced that this guy's calculations were correct. Yeah. And so uh, so eventually we're fighting a lich. To meditate on things as I looked out over the silver city. The view used to calm me. Now I find it does the opposite. Uh, so eventually we're fighting a lich, like a straight up, uh, lich lord that's been, like, kind of a low-key antagonist, you know, more or less, uh, the... Whoa. what? It is not far now. I only hope we are not too late. Oh, I aspect of hatred. Diablo's corruption closing around the light of heaven. And so we were, we were literally, we were, we were straight up fighting the, uh, we were straight up fighting this lich lord, and... You know, we all kind of had a game plan, and then he's like, I'm gonna crawl inside the bag of holding and hide when things start going a little bit bad. Because and then of the party was split up. Yeah, and the party an was split up a little bit. Later. I think there was a prismatic wall that my character had died through, and it was like a number of things. Uh, my character only survived because she die. was confused, but didn't have any negative effects. Yeah, your effects. character lost her mind in the middle of the combat. You got, you got hit by the wall or something? And, like, went insane temporarily, or I don't really remember. Uh, but I, I just remember turning to the guy and being like, if you if you insist upon doing, like, this whole neutrality shtick, uh, In the a, middle of a life and death one, battle. One, the Lich probably isn't going to forgive you for it, and two, if we do somehow manage to make it out of this, I'm just going to roleplay a character that hates no, yours I will not do uh, that. unequivocally, or if my character manages to come back from being... Oh, I died. Uh... Er. Yeah, these guys hurt. Uh, you know, if my character comes back from this and is aware that you, because I, I like spotted him ca crawling into the bag of holding, um, it's like if my character comes back from this, he's murdering yours. And ow, ow, uh, ow, ow. if my character doesn't come back from this, I'm just gonna make a character that's going to uh, hate yours no matter what, because uh, you don't pull this in the middle of a boss fight, and like against arguably the thing that was. Benton. Yeah, like there's Subjugating no, the realm there's no to going undead. neutral with like a lich. You don't do that. Yeah, a lich that wants to create a vast realm of undeath. Yeah, like I will admit I was screwing with you guys in our campaign a little bit by making like everybody weirdly both morally ambiguous but also like slightly evil. So it's kind of like how how far do you have to go before the party just starts making hardline stances whether or not it's it's ambiguous or not. Because I was kind of curious what you guys would do. Uh, and I think I think your end result was uh, al allying yourself with the largest mass murderer in the galaxy. Uh, who had the best intentions. Like, I, I effectively was throwing progressively worse monsters at you. Mm -hmm. uh, to be your, like, Gandalf character. Yeah. Just to see what your reaction would be. 
And it was hilariously affable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see how that unfolds. Yeah. We might be actually bringing it back on like December 1st. So I forsook my home to see it again. It's like, like 10 days? Any joy I might have hmm. had is replaced with sorrow. Upwards, we must make it to the summit. Hey, thank you for the seven month resub, Odenhagen. Seven months already. Thanks for all the content. Thank you for the sub and all the support. All of you. Oh, that man, some beans. I. Have I told you about the, the bean thing? Apart from, obviously, uh, Wander Song? Uh, no. So, obviously, I watched, like, Stumped and Evac and whatever kind of on my free time. Well, I swear, I've, I've seen people do beans, but it's been cat beans. Yeah, and well, other things. so that's, that's like, a, a currency that you hand out. Yeah. But after Wander Song, and I made that, like, goofy emote for, uh, for, you know, the, the, the little Wander Song bean. Uh, I, you know, I was jealous of, uh, other streamers for having kind of like a celebratory emote whenever, uh, whenever somebody, you know, subs. Because mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think Stumped had bears or, like, bike shorts and some other things. I was kind of jealous of that. So now it's beans. 100,000 beans. It'd be neat if there was, like, a bean counter and we could go up to 100-something thousand. I don't mm -hmm. think we'd ever make it there, but that'd be cool. That was such a lovely game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. If any of you watching this series stream or just randomly hear these this words out of the ether you no and you longer. haven't played Wander Song, please do. It has nothing to do with me. But it's yeah, so good. I, I do like those games where violence isn't the mode of progression. It's not even the violence. Like, Under Hero was indisputably a violent game, technically. But... That but wasn't there the were core options. message. Well, the thing was, there was that whole thing of you blindly followed this path and you thought that this is the way it always had to be done, but there are other options. Your death nears. Ah, it's it's bike shorts for bits. Gotcha. Not and yeah, technically we did wise. have to do a little bit of violence in Wander Song. But it was never like Glorified, Like, this game Which is ones? just raw violence. Because, you know, obviously you can't really make it anything more. Same thing with, like, the Darksiders games. And a lot of other games. I really liked it in, uh, Delta... what? There was that guy that we just sang him off the side of the ship? Yeah. Is that violence? <laughs> that was beautiful. We could have gotten a gun, uh... A, a knife or... A gun, a I sword, or a cup of down. coffee. I have no idea what would have happened if we picked any of the other ones. You might have gotten a scolding, or who knows what. But definitely the coffee was the right answer. The coffee is always the right answer. That that game was beautiful. Uh, whoa, I got I got smashed by something. Yeah, I think you went into the the, the fire zone. Waller teleporter horde. Yeah. Is, I it, really don't like the teleporting. Yeah, the teleporting is a bit mean because he just pulled you whoa. into the the danger zone. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's okay. These look like meteors. Oh, yep, I'm getting out of there. Yeah, it was. It's those meteors too. Hello. Oh, meteor, meteor! I was right at the edge of it. I don't know where I am. Oh, You're there the right. I am. Nope, I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm here. Luckily, my character has, uh, has multiple life steal sources. This is the future of all creation. I, I appreciate how my character has so many different lifesteal sources, because uh, it's easy to get health back. Heal me. Still dying. Ow. I like oh, the fact well. that your guy was like, heal me. Yeah, I was standing in lava, apparently. It's so easy to lose track of what the heck is going on. Yeah, I probably would like to change my skill at some point. Like, I like the, the grenades are fun and they probably do damage, but... They're really good against uh, multiple targets. Oh, I got exploded. Uh, they're great against multiple targets, but half the time you're only firing the grenades at like one or two dudes. Mm -hmm. Less helpful in that case. 
I mean, these things explode upon death, I believe. Ooh, chest. Fancy chest. Kill 100 enemies. I'm an and earn a bonus chest. Open. Oh, so we need more. Okay, we've got a... Oh, we've got a time limit, though. Oh, it's a, a time limit. That's why there's the dawn. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it. Dawn. So this is this is something that uh, shows up in the end game frequently. I don't think we've got enough oomph. The night embraces you. I, I guess actually we're starting now. to get some corpses here. So I might okay, be able to. Okay, we have oh, 70. No, 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 we're good. We're good. Yeah. I got this. Uh, now that I have a bunch of corpses in play, I've just got uh, corpse Vengeance. explosion going full bore. Yeah, we have 115 kills. We're fine. <laughs> corpse explosion is nutsy good. I love it. Great. Bonus chests. Look at all these goodies. I will admit, I really like uh, kind of loot treadmill games event. like this. Yeah. Like it's a, it's actually really so fun. So can I change that skill? Uh, yeah, you can change the skill. You might even want to look at your armor. Let's see. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's it? rapid fire. Switch it away from bombardment. So I had Pierce, lightning Pierce. You might want to do the homing rockets. Do the homing rockets. Go full rockets. What does that look like? Is these? Okay, uh, your turrets, I think, also have homing rockets. Check those. And you might as well put on that, uh, that passive that gives you a uh, boost to your rocket damage. What's this? Turn into the physical embodiment of vengeance for 20s. I bet I like turrets. There you go. Really? Just yeah. that random enemies? Yeah. I like the idea of them piercing through Well, so the though. reason why the rockets are good is they're better against single target, because then they'll just focus on the single one. Say Diablo and Diablo alone. So then... And not that one. Uh, Maybe that one? By that, I was healing. Okay. So why don't you get the rocket one at level 70? Okay. Which, like, we're pretty close to hitting that. I see you did not heed my warning. Or perhaps you think yourself strong enough to face me! Yes. I come to kill another. Do not waste my time. Imperius, stop this madness! Diablo is the enemy here, not the Nephilim. Tyrion, I will deal with you soon enough. I will... What is this? No! Diablo has reached the Arch! No. Diablo has begun extinguishing the Crystal Arch. That's why the angels have fallen. If its light should go out forever, we must defeat Diablo before that happens. Even the angels cannot help us now, Tyrael. You were wise to shed those wings of yours. Diablo's vile corruption bars our path. Stand back. Eldruin's light shall clear the way. Yeah, Imperius, if he had been barring our path, maybe we could have stopped him in time. The gate has been opened, Nephilim. This last trial is yours alone. I never thought I would fight alongside an angel. Now I can scarcely imagine going on without you. It was an honor, but this is the moment you were made for. This is the hour of mankind's victory. Really? Yep. So he's not gonna help us? No. You've said that the Crystal Arch is the heart of heaven. Tell me more. It is older than time itself. And over the eons, this shining realm took shape around it. It thrums with living light and sound that courses through the very fabric of the Silver City. Were the angels born from it as well? Yes, like musical notes in a grand chorus. 
Angels are the manifestation of the Archer's intrinsic harmony. The purest expressions of this harmony were my brethren, the Archangels. It seems that the harmony between them was broken long ago. Yes, but hope has returned. And as you mortals are fond of saying, it is not over yet. Yeah, guys, I know it's funny that here we were, we're supposed to rush up the stairs and talk and fight Diablo. And we're and having stuff. talk time material. We're having talk time material. As the universe well, is potentially when ending. When else could we have done this? <laughs> I fear that if we defeat Diablo, Leah's innocent spirit will die with him. No, despite everything she faced, Leah was strong. I will do what I can to put her soul at peace, no matter what happens. You don't want your necromancer to ask Tyriel any questions? So, you and Ariel voted to spare humanity all those years ago, but who voted against us? Imperius. Malfeo abstained, but it was counted against you. Abstained? Was he some kind of coward then? He was no coward. He was wisdom itself. Until his disappearance. The Anjira's council has been broken ever since. Whatever happened to Malfiel, or was he a boss in a previous game, or what? What are you looking at me for? Go find out. Malfiel's fate. What happened to Malfiel? Long ago, when Anarius and his ilk stole the World Stone to create Sanctuary, Malfiel became consumed with discovering its whereabouts. As the Archangel of Wisdom, he was tortured by his inability to recover the sacred artifact. Where is he now? Some say he haunts the silent halls of Pandemonium, forever seeking answers to the unknowable mysteries of life and death. What do you mean exactly by prime evil? It is the sum total of all seven evils housed within one body. There is an ancient legend, known only to a few, of the great dragon Tathamet, who was the original embodiment of evil. The legend says that he was ripped apart during an epic battle with Anu, and that the burning hells are composed of his remains. Who is Anu? Just as Tathamet was the ultimate evil, Anu was the ultimate good. It is said by some that the Crystal Arch is all that remains of this great warrior. Diablo is trying to reform Tathamet then? In a manner of speaking, yes. Hmm. And we're good. All right, let's go beat. Let's go beat up Diablo. Wait, so you're not saying that Diablo is Malthiel or something, right? No. Then who? Spoilers. Spoilers. Okay, fine. Then we'll fight. We'll we'll find out tonight. Don't worry. Oh, that statue's Dunsky. I remember why I thought Act 4 was short, because it's ridiculously short. We've only been doing this for half an hour. The seven okay, an hour. Are one within me. I am Legion. Okay. You know what I am? A living walking boater party, have fun with it! <laughs> <laughs> You have a boat Look at a belt! Get him, boater friends! Oh! Punch that Diablo in the Diab boobs. <laughs> the Diab boobs. Hey, you said Diablo. I did! So you broke your I'm own. I'm some damage here. Oh, wait. I've got the. I've got. The... He's got boater cages! I'm not okay with this. It's copyright infringement! <laughs> Seems you're not the only Lord of Bones. Yeah, and look, they even try to make those rear claws look like high heels. Yeah, they really do. Enough! Let us see how you fare in my realm of terror. And my, my wolf is just like, num, 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 num. Num, num, num. I'll nip at your ankles. I would be great if they managed I'll to kill nip him at your during ankles. the cutscene. Only by defeating us can you return to your own realm. But none have ever grown. Of their own terror. Who 
Ooh, I think I saw this action figure at Target or something. I'm so spooked. The the black I'm and blue version up. of Eat Phantom Diablo. Wait, are these just are these just phantom versions of us? Oh, they always do. <laughs> the dark, twisted side. You must face yourself. This can't be the terror version of me. The terror version of me has more boners, not less. Look at it. It has actually no boners. Well, now it's just dead, but... I mean, like... Oh, I've been grabbed. All right. Or... Yep, I'm somewhere in here. Uh, do we have round two, or...? Yep, there it is. All right. You cannot defeat your own terror. Look at him. He's got a little bone shield. He's so cute. He's just standing around, whipping that scythe around like it does something. The man does not understand uh, the truth. Can do. Wait, can I resurrect myself? <laughs> I resurrected the Phantom version myself. You resurrected your own terror. Great. Sweet. What you gonna do now, Diablo? I've brought reinforcements. Me. Me and her, and then her! You cannot defeat your own terror. No, and any other thing, it'd be like, You're wrong, Diablo, I have courage, and that beats terror. <laughs> I have necromantically resummed versions of myself. <laughs> you made a fatal flaw in facing me. <laughs> You're just giving like me all more ammunition. Like show from me. <laughs> Can you feel your death approaching? I mean, they're just like little generic Skella men fighter people that like skid around because they don't have good animations. Because I think this is literally the only time you see them, maybe. But like, whatever. Can you feel your death approaching? You shall never wake from this nightmare. What nightmare? There's multiple of me. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> more for the bona party. You are numbered, Diablo. You've always been. No. This wretched light must be eradicated. Oh? All that you have known, all that you have ever loved, shall die along with you, Nephilim. Joke's on you, I'm a necromancer! Everything that I already know and love is dead already! Convenient, no? My family was murdered by demons. <laughs> the only reason why we have any power is because we have sad generic backstories. <laughs> <laughs> you literally can't scare or demoralize us. We're already boring. <laughs> we suffer from the greatest of protagonist syndromes. Uh, no parents, no friends, no hobbies, no hometown. I'm a demon hunter. This is all that I strive for. I know, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> she's got a pretty sweet deal. Kill the ultimate demon. Like, this is her hobbies. <laughs> if anything, you're encouraging her by trying to demoralize her. Now, if you're trying to, like, convince her that now you're a good person is... or good for the world, now that would be conflicting. What shall I do in my retirement, then? If there are no more demons to be slain. Hunt people! <laughs> Just work your way down. Eventually eradicate all the squirrels. My bag is too heavy. Uh, um, I think our inventory is full. I'm right. returning to town. One second. <laughs> What's this below? Our inventory is full. Yeah, our inventory is full. We'll be back. I we know we just saved the world. Don't worry about that. We'll we'll be back in a bit. We got a, we got a our our, our bags are too full, and we can't uh, we can't do the thing you want us to do. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we have been getting a fancy thing in video. What is this? A skeleton key. Oh, equip on follower. Your follower cannot die. It's for the scoundrel. Huh. I suppose I should look at my gear, too. <laughs> yes. Literally, the only person that was ever nice to us, you are currently in the possession of. You have already taken our only friend from us. 
I think the Wastelander's Vault is a... Ooh, an unidentified ring. Yep. Pretty good. That's pretty dang good. Rochelle's Ring of Larceny. Petty thievery! <laughs> okay. Um... What's purple? I've never seen that before. No, that's blue. It's blue? Yeah, it's blue. Oh, it's considered blue. It's okay. Blue. Well, compared to that blue background, it... Oh, I see. It was just the text that was purple-ish. Ooh, should I use that helm? Yeah. The Vein Peak. Awesome. I look like a knight. The Guard Sentry? Yep. Awesome. I'm no longer tan colored. And I suppose I should fill up some slots, right? It was the helmet uh, you know, that had a slot. Yeah, your helmet has a slot. Okay. What gems do I have? Ah, uh, cooldown. No, not cooldown reduction. It was cooldown reduction. Down. Bonus XP. It was that one. Resource cost reduction. Resource cost reduction. Ooh, and you a have marquee. that. That looks nice. Yep, and then you don't. Oh, and your chest. Chest, okay. You want to put emeralds in. Emeralds. Okay. And unfortunately, I don't have a second emerald, just that. Yeah, might as well. I guess that's not chest, those are your legs. Legs. I look awesome. I look like the Shredder. I look stupid. But I always look stupid. You should probably salvage all of that stuff. Oh, yep. Wait, what was I doing? That was you weird. just made your wolf howl. <laughs> howl? Salvage. Mass okay. salvage, yeah. Yep. Alright. And back we go. Let's see. And yes, I know we can recolor equipment. I haven't really bothered because we're not going to be keeping it for long. Wait, and who are all. Oh, wait, it's just our. our yeah, all party the companion members. characters that weren't part of this. Alright. We're going to talk about. The day is won. Diablo is vanquished, and all evil with him. Evil retreats, but it does not die. Time will turn. Do we have anyone else to talk with? Probably. Ah, oh, no, this guy no. doesn't have anything to no say. No to talk to. All right. Well, I don't care to talk talk to the meaningless NPCs. So, yeah. I want to know what quick. happened to Imperius. Oh, try resing Diablo. I don't think he left a resible corpse. No, no didn't leave a corpse to rest. That would be hilarious. I bring him back and just immediately boss fight. Aha, fools! What do you mean? I only have a fifteen-second lifespan. No. I'm the prime evil of death. Then I use him for corpse explosion. <laughs> <laughs> All heroes start with a primer weapon attack and a blah, 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 went really fast. 